Greetings everyone, welcome to the Essence of Life. I am back again to do another reading for you guys. This is going to be a general reading for the collective to see what's going on with the love of your life. We're going to do another a check-in on the energies. So thank you for watching, thank you for your support. Big, big thank you to all my subscribers. I'm so grateful for you guys and your continued support and love that you show this channel i'm really really grateful you guys thank you for um your bookings for personal readings yeah i'm i'm grateful to be a part of your spiritual journey thank you thank you so much you guys keep me going and i'm just here for you i'm here for it yeah i'm here for you guys so on that note, let's jump into this reading here. Let's see what's going on with the love of your life, the person on your mind. Let's get a check in here. So the messages for this reading, we have release your ex. It says the time has come to clear your energy and we have free yourself. It says it's time to take back control of your life. And we have true love. It says this is the romance of a lifetime. And we have very soon. It says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So release your ex, free yourself and true love. And uh, very soon. Oh, so it looks like there's some major changes taking place during this time. Right, let's get the tarot. Tap into the energies. And let's uh, see what spirit wants you to know. What we should be aware of. Oh, the tower. Scorpio Aries energy. We've got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. And we've got the Three of Swords. So, uh, yeah, instantly I can see a breakup. A break up, you guys. There's a situation that's ending. Yeah, clarify these cards here. We've got the Ace of Swords. We've got the Lovers. We've got the Queen of Wands. So you may have fire in your chart. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Dig a bit deeper. Seven of Wands, King of Swords and Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, something's over. There's a relationship here that has come to the end of the road. You guys, yeah. So, um, now that I've laid out the cards... It is clear to see that there is a relationship here that has come to the end of the road and uh, it does look like um, there's no going back. We have release your ex. We have free yourself. It's time to clear the energy. The time has come to clear your energy. And it is time to take back control of your life. It's time. So it looks like uh, your person was in a karmic relationship. And uh, yeah, this reading is... Uh, is showing someone that was probably married with this Ten of Cups energy here. If they weren't married, they may have been engaged, but it was definitely a situation that involved family. This person may have had children with their karmic partner here. There's children involved here, but... um. Yeah, it looks like uh, it's come to the end of the road. Your person's releasing this uh, this person and they're releasing the relationship altogether. And they're breaking free. 
this relationship was keeping this person stuck. It was just a karmic cycle that just keeps going round and round again. I feel like, uh, you know, with this tower, Ace of Swords, a lot of um, arguments is taking place, you know, I can see. Yeah, there's a lot of conflict going on here. These people are not getting along. Your person is releasing this person. They don't get along. King of Swords in reverse. Ace, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So this is a karmic couple. Queen of Pentacles and King of Swords came out in reverse. This is karmic energy. They clearly don't get along. We've got the Three of Swords here. I'm getting betrayal. There's betrayal in this relationship here. To do with the children I'm getting. For some of you, there's some deep issues here in this karmic situation. Yeah, because this whole karmic situation is broken. Something has absolutely broken this relationship. It's like there's no going back. I'm getting there's issues to do with children here. There may be paternity issues here. Yeah. Because something's come out here. There's some sort of information. With this sword here. Some sort of information has come out here. And it's just bad news. Something's come to light. Some sort of... um. Revelation here, yeah. It's like the straw that broke the camel's back. I mean, it looks like this is bringing your person more in alignment with you. We've got the lovers here. Queen of Wands. I feel like, uh, you know, you share a very um, intense connection with your person. It's very passionate here. It's, it's, it's like soulmates, twin flames even. It's intense. It's an intense connection here. And uh, I could see, I mean, you play a major part in this person's love life. Yeah, you play a major part with this Queen of Wands energy. Wow, it's like you pull this person in. Strong attraction here for you. True love. This person feels true love with you. Yeah. The romance of a lifetime. It's true love. Yeah, so they're aligned. They are really aligned here. And I feel like... Uh, the fact that um, you're showing up in this reading... You do play a major part. In this uh, person's situation right now. I, I, I even feel like uh, this karmic partner that your person's with may even know about you. You you may be part of the arguments for some of you. This is what I'm getting. Because, I mean, you're showing up in this situation also. So it's like this connection... That uh, your person has with you is a major is a major effect here in this karmic relationship because this karmic this Queen of Pentacles they know I feel like they know about you. There's a lot of jealousy here. I'm getting a lot of jealousy. You probably yeah, you're probably part of the arguments here. It looks like <laughs> because I can see this King of Swords. They're probably um, they're probably not even hiding the fact that they're in love with you either. I feel King of Swords here. This is someone that's just uh, that's that's just letting anything come out right about now. Even even if it may hurt the other person, they don't care. 
King of Swords is in reverse. This person does not care about what comes out of their mouth right about now. I can see there's a lot of pain in this situation. This is what it is. I feel like your person is really hurt during this time. There's a lot of pain here. I'm getting that, you know, they're, suff they're suffering with the separation from you. I feel like you and your person, you know, are not are in separation. They're suffering with that. And as well as that, I feel like they, they feel betrayed by this karmic as well. This karmic has let them down. This karmic may even feel like your person has let them down as well. There's a lot of issues here they're arguing about. And I feel like they're both blaming each other. Yeah, it looks hostile. Ace of Swords. Seven of Wands. It's hostile. It's like... I feel like, uh, yeah, your person... Right now, they're trying to defend themselves. Because I feel like they argue, there's a lot of arguments and blaming going on here. Yeah, it looks like a lot of um, old issues and insecurities is coming up again. You know, I feel like there's a lot of insecurities in this relationship. Yeah, and I feel like the fact that um, you're in the picture is not helping. It's not helping matters. Because it looks like this third party is insecure. This karmic is insecure. Very insecure here. And jealous and possessive. I'm getting, yeah. And your person wants to break free. I feel like, yeah, they've checked out here. Yeah. I really feel like... Your person is protecting you during this time. I feel like if you do come up in their arguments, your person defends you. It looks like... This is what I'm getting. They actually defend you to their karmic. This is what I'm saying. They're probably telling the karmic, you know, that yes, they do love you. And they want to be with you. You know, they're not holding back. And they don't care if it hurts. There's this, I feel like your person don't even care if it hurts the karmic. You know, they're defending you. They're defending their love for you this connection that they feel with you yeah i feel like they believe in it they believe it's real you know it's it's true love it's true love something worth fighting for you know yeah something worth fighting for i'm getting <laughs> I'm getting during this time. There's a lot of resentment towards this karmic. I'm getting there's a lot of resentment here. And uh, I really feel like this karmic may have taken things too far. I feel like things is going has gone too far. Things have gotten out of control, it looks like. I really feel like... Uh, <sighs> This argument, whatever's going down in this relationship during this time, is has really pushed the relationship to its limit. Because we've got a tower here. Yeah, I mean, this relationship is being destroyed. It's like, uh, there's a lot of chaos and destruction during this time. A lot of fights, I feel. I feel, yeah, it looks like, you know, they are arguing, but... I feel like it's serious arguments. It's very hostile. A lot of insults is being thrown, you know, at each other. A lot of blaming. This relationship is just, uh, has been pushed to its limit now. And it's, uh, it's at its breaking point, it looks like. There's no going back. This is what I feel. There's three of swords here. There's betrayal. There's heartbreak. Yeah. It has absolutely come to the end of the road. They, your person is breaking free. They are releasing this karmic situation. I feel like 
they may have a they may feel like they've done and said all they can in this karmic situation with this person here and nothing changes i'm getting nothing changes they're dealing with someone that's very insecure here and possessive yeah we've got karmic relationship fleeting triggers turmoil resentment lessons yeah letting go and loving you so this is all about uh karma basically learning the karma learning the lessons here yeah it's a karmic relationship this person you know has reached the end of the road now i feel like they're ready to end this cycle mirror mirroring each other yeah this is this karmic relationship is just full of mirrors smoke and mirrors i'm getting i'm hearing smoke and mirrors all they do is just mirror each other which reflects their wounds you know and then they end up attacking each other because they don't know how to heal each other none of them know how to heal your person's with someone that is unhealed you know that is toxic an evil i'm hearing yeah only out for themselves yeah it's all coming out now we've got the dragonfly yeah it's all coming out there's truths coming out it says uh be light-hearted finding out things coming to light yeah adapt change and heal so i i'm, I'm getting that there was um some sort of information here. Something has come to light here. They're arguing over uh, issues and insecurities that's, that may have been hidden here. I'm getting paternity issues. I'm really getting that strongly here. But they have a lot of issues in that karmic relationship here. And uh, the fact that this person, your person, is in love with you. That's coming out as well. Things is all coming out. Yeah, and we got the axe. It's leading to a breakup. Yeah, separation, stop the pattern, abandonment, silent treatment. Yeah, it is leading to a breakup here. The person is breaking up with this karmic. We have the snake. Yeah, I feel like they realize they have been sleeping with the enemy. This person's hurt. They feel betrayed. Three of Swords. They've been sleeping with the enemy. It says competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over the shoulder of a woman. Yeah, I mean, smoke and mirrors. This is what I'm saying. They, this karmic has been, you know, competing with, with, with your person. You know? It's just smoke and mirrors. They'll be competing with your person. If your person was cheating on them, they're cheating on your person. They're enemy. They're clever. They're doing it in a clever way. They were doing it. They were sneaky with it as well. With the snake energy, they were very sneaky with it as well. So they may have, you know, slept out on your person here and got pregnant for someone else. And then, but then try to... Uh, Make your person think that they're the father, you know. Very sneaky. It's all coming out now, I feel. Things have come to light. Because there, there's a betrayal here. Your person's hurt. Yeah. Lightning, sudden change, shocking news. Can't make this up. Shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval and transformation. Yeah, whatever is coming out, whatever these, this calm, this this karmic couple is arguing about, it's, they're letting it all out. It's all coming to light here. I don't even feel like your person's holding back. They they're letting it all out. Yeah, because they're off, mate. We got the runner, the grim reaper. Yeah, they're off. No second chances. The relationship is over. Yeah, this person's heading towards their true love here. Heart with a key. Yeah, your person's heading towards you. Yeah, they are in alignment, you guys. 
So that's the messages. I hope this reading helps. Thanks for watching. Be back soon.